You have heard before that large language models, especially models like ChatGPT, cannot do reasoning very well. This is a complaint that a lot of people have been telling about ChatGPT, GPT-3 and other large language models. But I'm going to offer you a solution called chain of thoughts. So this is called chain of thoughts. So I'm going to show you how you can use this concept called chain of thoughts and then you can ask a large language model a question with some reasoning. That's what we call chain of thoughts and it can solve the same problem which it could not before. So I'm going to give you an example first. The first example is let's say we asked ChatGPT, take the last letters of the words in Lady Gaga and concatenate them. So as a human being, you know, the first word is lady and the second word is Gaga and the first, the last letter of the first word is Y and the last letter of the second word is A. So what would be the output? The output would be yeah, Y and A. But what does the chat GPT do? Chat GPT thinks that it will be a ga 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 something. So it, it, it did not understand what we exactly asked. So now if this is the kind of problem that you want to solve and you want to solve using chat GPT, then we are going to give chain of thoughts, an intermediate step with some reasoning and explanation that can educate the large language model to solve. So what are we going to do? We're going to give an example. We're going to tell chat GPT that take the last letters of the words, the same thing, like exactly the same thing that you just gave. In the first case, you just gave the question and you expected an answer, which was wrong. In the second case, you're going to introduce chain of thoughts. Now this is your input question. Now this is where you are going to give the chain of thought. And then based on the chain of thought, you're going to give your actual question. Now let's start again. So I've given that there is a question here. And for that, I'm actually explaining chat GPT that what should be the answer. So I'm saying last letter of lady is Y. Then the last letter of Gaga is A. Concatenating them is Y A. So the answer is yeah. And then I'm asking my actual question. So I'm saying take the last letters of the words in New Delhi and concatenate them. And then it exactly does what I wanted to do. The last letter of new is W. The last letter of Delhi is I and concatenating them is V and the answer is V. And I can go on and ask more of this. Again, I can give the same question. I can ask it to do Lady Gaga or I can, I can probably ask another question. I can say, take the last letter of the words. Uh, let's say you, uh, what, what is New Orleans or Lens and I can send it, send this and then you can see what it does. It says last letter of new is W, the last letter of old lens is S, so it does WS. And this is not only for this case. So chain of thoughts work really good for math reasoning, for logical reasoning and a lot of other cases. For example, if you want chat GPT to count something, let's say you wanted to do a simple math problem. You can say uh, one little coder had 10 apples and he ate two of them. How many apples did he finally have? Now, most likely chat GPT would give you the right answer because recently they have improved the math capability. But if it does not have that math capability, instead of now simply giving the question and then expecting an answer, what you can do is you can give an example. So I can say Q question. I can give this question, but instead of one little coder, I can, I can say this guy had 10 apples and he ate two of them. And in the answer you can describe, he initially, initially, initially had 10 apples. Out of that, he ate two. That means 10 minus two. That is equal to eight. So he had eight apples. Eight is the answer. And then you ask your next question. You ask the actual question that you want to ask. So you can say one little coder had 100 computers. Out of that, he threw 10 computers. He gave another 10 to his friends. How many computers did he finally have? Now you can ask this question and then see what it does. So what I just did is exactly what chain of thought is. So we say 10 computers were there. He threw 10. So 10 minus 10, 100 minus 10 is 90. 
and out of that he gave 100 90 minus 10 and then you have 80 so finally one little coder had 80 computers and this is exactly what chain of thought is supposed to be instead of letting the large language model uh, directly figure out what to do instead of it giving you the one liner answer you are actually asking the chat gpt or large language model with an example this is a few short prompt example where you can give a typical question like the question that you're going to ask also instead of just expecting it to answer you can give a chain of thought like the intermediate reasoning that will educate the large language model you're not fine-tuning here you're not going to give a human feedback to the reinforcement learning this is not uh, rlhf this is not fine-tuning this is nothing this is just with the prompt in itself you can add this chain of thought which will help the large language model like in this case chat gpt to do math reasoning logical reasoning a lot more other tasks really well in the way humans would do without you having to fine tune and all those things this is one of the prompt engineering techniques that is gaining popularity so i wanted to make this video in explaining how you can do chain of thoughts if you have any questions let me know in the comment section or if you have your own version of chain of thought that you have been using please let me know in the comment section otherwise i was i hope this was helpful to you in learning what is chain of thoughts how you can do chain of thoughts with large language models like chat gpt to improve the reasoning and i will see you in the next video happy prompting